internet hypos and here this week we are back with the build video this week yay more build video sorry about last week a lot going on still stuff going on but at least this week i managed to have find some time to get the video edited for something this week uh there'll be the usual bit popping up here telling you what time index the uh, part nine starts at it is only part nine this week but that should keep you going I even think I have remembered this week to switch the microphone on. Yay, that's even another big bonus. Anyway, let's go on with the build video. Okay, uh, welcome back for part nine. I've just had a little break, but it's been quite instantaneous for you. Okay, in this next part, we are going to need 12 M8 nuts, 12 M8 washers. We also need here two m8 um, lead screws at 470 mil so i'll just show you that there 470 also two of the feed rods as well so two lead screws two um feed rods and also six m3 nuts four m3 by 10 mil bolts and two m3 by 12 mil bolts also on top of those component elements we'll be using the bits we made in part one part two that piece we made in part five and then the piece we made in part seven and eight which was the main frame part one to one side Right. So first, I need to now take the frame from part seven, eight. Okay, so this is going to go onto here. If you look at this part here, you can see where it just dips down, and not the bit with the the slots at the top. Slots go to the top, and then this just goes on with the motor pointing inwards need the two m3 by 12s and two nuts these are going to come in through at the end here didn't think that was going to take for a minute there it just needed this bit pushed in just that fraction further just that millimeter or so more So that's now the, the back piece on. Next, if we spin this around this way, we're going to take the two M8 rods. Now I want one, two, three, four, and four washers. Actually, let's get the another couple handy get six at this time and what we're going to be doing is let's put one on on each rod then you put a washer then another washer then another bolt and then Now you're going to leave that with a little bit of space there for now. Do that again. <laughs> then I'm going to do another one on here, but not take it down so far, just a little bit. So, the next bit now, we'll be taking, put these washers like that, like so, and this one like so. So at the moment, you're going wash and nut, space, nut, washer, wash and nut. Now, what you're going to be doing here, making sure the washers don't fall off the end here, is bring in your 
main frame section. I turn this like that. What we'll be doing is placing that through the rear hole. And you want to wash it each side of this plastic piece here. And the same again over this side. And then what I'm going to do is get another washer, another nut over here. And I'm going to do it till just about one, one or so, you know, barely any threads come out the end, but you've got a little bit of thread showing. So as you can see, it's really not really sticking out there at all. Another one of these, one of these. And then use the little spanner that I think the spanner they gave us will do these ones. There we go, just tighten these up. Now that's done. These ones that we have here, let's see if I can get that better in the frame. You want to tighten these up to these points too. I'm making sure I'm pushing down on the rod as I do it, as I want it to. tighten at the bottom of that valley of that is dripping into because it could tighten up high but I'm gonna push it down as I tighten don't push hard just gently I don't want to bend the rod okay so what we need to do now do is take the first piece we made again you'll see the little feet here and this end is the the top end is the one with the slits on so there you go and then this is going on to that like so but before we do that first grab these two washers these two nuts these two washers these two nuts put one nut on here then Then we can pop that on, take that a bit further back. And a washer here, a washer there. I'm going to do what I did like on the other one. I'm going to Do that till I can just about see a thread sticking out. Same on that one. Now just tighten the inside ones up to make it meet them ones.
So now we have the frame part here and these threaded rods. Okay, the next part to install will be the glide rods, which will slide in through these holes here. Make sure you, I want to support, just use them to support the back end of these because I don't want it flexing and bending and snapping this. We take this part and then we feed the rods all the way through there and out through the back. Now you'll need the four M3 by 10s and their bolts two at each end because what you have here like all the bits that join it is a slot and a nut area and what you do start by doing putting that on there oops so that's going to go in here and then when you tighten that this I'm going to protrude out there and push down onto the rod so that it stops the rod itself moving so at the moment you can see it moves freely if I can get this to start tightening up without dropping it for a 50th, 50th time and then tighten Now that rod, it moves the printer. So we're just going to repeat that procedure three more times at each end of the rod of the two rods. The ones at this end come in from the side rather than from the top. Okay. Appears to be running quite smooth. Don't know if it could run any smoother or not. I know that it probably requires some kind of ooh, excuse me, uh maybe some kind of lubricant on these. Maybe I can tweak these to get a bit better run, but right now works fine there okay now we start having something that looks like a 3d printer with moving bits and motors and things Ooh. so let's move on to the next step anyway i hope you enjoyed that i should be back next week hopefully with more build video hopefully as long as something really goes wrong or etc or the world explodes or whatever happens to me this week anyway I hope to see you next week. Uh, remember to like, subscribe and all those lovely fun things. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at HiBoson. And that's about it really for this week. Um, keep on going and I'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye.